Hi guys, Rich Bop here. Today I'm reviewing the Netflix app on the iPhone for JB Holt Spencer with Joshua 787 on Twitter. For those of you who don't have Netflix, this app will be no good for you. It's an app for Netflix customers. Netflix is a movie streaming service, movies, TV shows, and it's $5.99 a month for us here in the UK. £6 a month is pretty good, and I'm not one to subscribe to many things but I definitely get my money's worth with this. I watch things on my lunch time, I watch things on an evening, I watch things when I'm in the bath and it's saved me a lot of money on television box sets. So I definitely recommend Netflix. The only downside of Netflix is that it's not very up to date. It takes them a while to get things after it's come out. But anyway Netflix that's a completely different review. This is a review for the app. So it just it's just the red square app box here's what it says it does in the app store it's got three and a half stars in the app store based on 286 ratings so it's not doing so good netflix is the world's leading subscription service for watching tv episodes and films on your phone this netflix mobile application is designed to deliver the best experience anywhere anytime Get a free app as part of your Netflix membership and you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and films on your phone. If you are not a Netflix member, then sign up for Netflix and start enjoying immediately on your phone with our one month free trial. So, and then it just tells you how it works. And then it tells you that this app is supported on the iPad, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S and iPod Touch 4G. And it gives you some screenshots. Let's see what the bad ratings say. Unstable, keeps crashing, screen flicker. Loads of people just saying it's crashed. I've never had any problems with it crashing. So when you first get it, you're going to need to sign in. Then it just works in basically the same way as it does on your Wii, on your Xbox, on your computer, your iPad. It works the same on your phone. It's just smaller. That's to be expected. And obviously the screen's small and everything else, but I really don't mind that. It comes up with, you can resume what you've last watched. It works very well. If I watch something on the iPad, I can carry it on on the iPhone if I, or on the Wii or anything. You can see what you've watched and you can continue watching in terms of series, halfway through a film. You can see your top ten. You can see your popular films. You can see popular TV popular on Facebook, drama based classic literatures, wacky TV comedies, emotional TV programs, action thrillers, yes, I mean it's got heaps of stuff and you just go through and see what you want to watch so I'm going to just, I've been watching The Hills at the moment, very sad I know, you click resume here and it will carry on from where I left off that's literally the loading time now. Comes up, it automatically goes automatically goes into landscape, and Previously on the hills. The sounds pretty good. It's all very catty. I've had one instance where the sound and the imagery got out of sync, and I clicked this ten with the arrows and that completely sorted it out straight away. Apart from that, I've had absolutely no problems with it. It's a great resolution. You can just click done there when you're done. It closes it, goes back to there. You can search for things still. You can go through genres. It's really, really good app. I have no problems with it. And I feel so grateful that they've even got an app on the iPhone. It's amazing. It opens up whole new worlds. You can watch it on the train. You don't have to have your iPad with you, which is pretty big. And everyone can watch it. You've got this and you can just watch it. And it doesn't, it's not a big deal. It's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I am going to give Netflix five big fat moves. Because I love it. Have you got Netflix? Do you have the app personally? I, I like it on all platforms except the Wii. The Wii version of Netflix is rubbish. It's fuzzy, it's temperamental, since the last update it doesn't work even, it's just rubbish. 
but every other platform that Netflix comes on is fab. If you've got Netflix, you definitely need to get the iPhone app. If you haven't got Netflix, you need to consider it, because it's, it's even got Lost on there now. It's worth it just to save you money on the box sets. Okay, guys, I love you. I hope you're well. I have a little bit of a cold. I don't know if you can tell in the video. I'm like this, talking like this. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more such videos and I will see you tomorrow. Like this video, share it with your friends and enemies. Goodbye! Hi guys, Rachel Bop here, doing a little vlog today just to explain to you what went on on my fluid deprivation test. 